Fans of the Friday night hit show may wonder how many of MacGyver's creative contraptions are based on real science. And can I make them at home? Well, we sent Sharon Chin to find out in a story you'll only see on Five. I'm at Southeastern Louisiana University outside New Orleans visiting the professor who does the science behind MacGyver. And he teaches me how to make some of those MacGyver gadgets, too. You just made an external pacemaker out of paper clips. Covert operative Angus MacGyver saves the day, crafting unconventional tools from everyday objects. I need your shoelaces. Dr. Rhett Elaine makes sure the hacks are plausible in real life. That's good, perfect. The physics professor is the technical consultant for the CBS series. Just the mere fact that they are interested in making a connection to something that could be true, I'm happy. Dr. Elaine fields frequent communications from the show's writers. So I just got an email right now. The most common question? Would this work? I would help them come up with all the different Mac hacks. And he supplies the Mac facts. That's right. 457 kilohertz. That's the frequency that avalanche beacons use. I really like those parts of the show because, you know, it's like, I did that. Let's watch it go up the ramp. From his Southeastern Louisiana University lab, Dr. Elaine even records online videos of the hacks that people can do at home. I enjoy that, so I'm kind of sharing what I enjoy. In the show, MacGyver attaches a car speaker to a broken payphone to make it work. Hey, Maddie, we are on. Dr. Elaine shows me a similar concept. So we're going to build a speaker using just a few items. If we run current through this loop of wire, it makes a magnetic field. And if that magnetic field interacts with the magnet, it will move back and forth. And if I put this on top of it, it'll push the air and make sound. Tape the wires to the cup and clip each end to the wires in an earphone cable. Put the cup on top of a strong magnet and plug the earphone cable into a laptop playing a video. Do you hear anything? I hear the MacGyver theme. <laughs> In the series, MacGyver whips up a remote controlled taser. Dr. Elaine shows me the same basic technique to make an LED flashlight. This is my favorite MacGyver switch. We're going to use paper clips. Using clip on wires, we connect an LED light bulb to a small button battery and a raised paper clip that serves as a light switch. When I push down, on this, they do touch and it lights up the LED. Now this is a sonic fire extinguisher. In another episode, MacGyver fashions a fire extinguisher from a plastic bucket and cassette recorder. The science behind it is real. Sound waves can trap the air around the fire so it uses up oxygen and the flames go out. Dr. Elaine's do-it-yourself version extinguishes a candle. We pour baking soda into vinegar to create carbon dioxide gas. You can't see the gas, but once you pour it over the candle, it replaces the oxygen that fuels the flame and voila! There it is. <gasps> wow. After it's on, just push it like this. Like Dr. Like Elaine uses the same hands-on approach yeah, teaching his up. class of education majors. Good. Mm -hmm. But the lessons, like this one on force and motion, help take the fear out of physics. There you go. Perfect. Dr. Elaine says he's enjoying his perfect scenario, getting to teach physics for education and entertainment. For MacGyver. <laughs> Swanky. And for fun. And it's a compass. In Louisiana, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5. Dr. Elaine has never met the cast or crew of the MacGyver series, but would love to one day. He demonstrated several MacGyver hacks that you could try at home, like how to make sound out of light and how to make your own magnetic compass.